thing. I'm a fighter at heart and I love this sport. You guys see me, you know, I'm not afraid to bang. I have nothing to prove to the world. I can bang. But when someone challenges me with not having skill and not being tactical, I'm going to rise to it. And that's exactly what we executed. I listened to my corners. I didn't rush in. You know, there's a, I really love clinch work. And my coach was like, you know, whatever you do, don't clinch with her. I remember one time I was banging. And I was like, I let it go real quick. Because I was like, no, don't get into that fight. Let's go. Back to boxing. So, yeah, no, it, it makes it ten times sweeter. What happened at the end of the fight? You tried to shake her hand and she was going to choose to shake her hand. Yeah, you know, again, I didn't mean for it to get that out of control, but the reason, you know, everyone always sees the person who hits back, not the person that hits. So as soon as the bell rung in the fight in the fifth round, um, she looked at me and called me a pussy. And um, when she called me out of my name and called me a pussy after a bare knuckle fight, I told her, hey, you're the queen, you're supposed to come get me. You know, why didn't you engage anymore? Because your plan is just to counter me off of my mistakes, right? And um, that's how I kind of kept out of control. My corners were like, hey, calm down, sports and shift. So I went over there and I was like, hey, I'm sorry. She said she's from Australia. So USA, baby, USA, because I said, hey, sorry, she's from Australia. She didn't accept apologies. She went to um, shake my hand. So I walked off. It could be, you know, whatever. I won decisively. That's all I got to say. Britain, I was just curious because you talked about the strategy. Was that something put in the camp early or was that something later on decided, hey, this is how we're going to fight? And a follow up, did it surprise you that she didn't come after you at all? Because the whole fight, she just stayed where she was and didn't adjust. You know, honestly, I've told everybody she's not going to be a different fighter. She's going to be the same exact fighter. She fights everyone the same way, and you know, I've always said that's why she doesn't want to fight Misfit because it would be the most boring fight ever because they're counter fighters. They just counter each other. So, uh, you know, I wasn't surprised, you know, but I knew I was something we worked on, and I have to say my, my fight camp was purely strategy. I'm super happy to have Coach Ryan Perez um, fix that game plan and then my Coach Love come in and, and reinforce it on the trust and background we've had together. But it was really Ryan setting the game plan for the last month of Britain, do not brawl, box, box. Box. And that was drilled in my head for at least 30 days straight, and we got it. We got it at, at the day 30 when it mattered the most. What was the corner saying to you, especially in the fourth and fifth rounds? Because we were all figuring, uh oh, she's going to come after her. What was your corner telling you at the later rounds? Yep. So my corners said exactly that. They predicted exactly what you said. They're like, she's going to come out hard. You know, you got to stay on it. Um, and uh, the the best thing they said to me that I can remember, they said, you got to believe in yourself. Um, and they probably told me other things that I can't remember. But, um, you know, I, I apologize at the end because there were some more things that we did work on in the camp. There were some more things that we drilled that I really wanted to commit. To, and I, I wanted to apologize. I just wasn't feeling it in the moment. And, um, you know, but overall, I think I stuck to the game plan, boxing on the outside. What's next? Uh, you know what? I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I need a break. I really do. I, I would love to go beat up everyone, but I think... Um, I think physically I'm awesome. I think my skill has grown, but uh, and my IQ has grown. But I think that these fight camps and the world around me does get stressful and emotional. And um, I think that I'm slipping out control of maintaining composure and the things that I need to work on for my mental game. So I think I need to take six months to really compose myself so I can um, handle these victories much better and a better way and um, I owe that to the fans in the world that if I cannot stay mentally composed you know m boxing is mental and I need to get my mental game back on track. Do you think we might see a third fight? Um, you know I'm a fighter I always say I'm down for any fight so I don't turn away from a fight but I'm gonna keep it real last time was a split decision that warrants a rematch this was an undecisive win it doesn't really warrant a rematch so guess what if you want the rematch pay me. Uh, Christine Ferrer, Taylor Starling, and fighting for the championship. What do you think of that fight? Who's going to win that fight? Christine. Why? Uh, I just think Christine is, she's bigger, She's uh, she's been around, she's fought tough opponents, and uh, I think that that goes a long way. I'm um, looking at me, look at my resume, I fight tough opponents. And um, I can't say that about, you know, you, this other person that she's fighting, she really needs to, to fight a tough opponent. And um, I just see Christine winning and keeping all the personal BS outside. I'm going with Christine.
Thank you. Can I ask you a few questions real quick?